Today we're going to discuss the economic benefits of highway infrastructure and the ways that we can accelerate project delivery. Uh, it's no secret that our economy relies heavily on the well-being of our nation's roads and bridges. In 2015, the U.S. transportation system moved a daily average of about 49 million tons of freight that was worth more than $52 billion. Annually, now that's around 18 billion tons of freight valued at over $19 trillion. And these numbers are only going up. According to the Department of Transportation, by the year 2045, our aging roads and bridges are going to carry an additional 4 billion tons of freight every year. Our nation's highways must keep pace. The authorization of federal highway funding is going to expire in September of next year. And the Congressional Budget Office predicts and projects that the Highway Trust Fund will become insolvent sometime in 2021. It's essential that Congress invests in our infrastructure and our, specifically our surface transportation. That's why we must pass a multi-year reauthorization of the highway funding bill that is on time and fiscally responsible. If Congress fails to act, states and local governments will not have the funding certainty that they need to plan and deliver vital infrastructure projects for the American people. Our highways, our roads, and our bridges would struggle to keep pace with our growing economy. Last November, we kicked off the process with a hearing to gather stakeholder input. In January, we held a hearing to consider the nomination of Nicole Nason to be the administrator of the Federal Highway Administration. One week later, we favorably reported her nomination out of committee and to the floor. The Federal Highway Administration is going to need a strong administrator to work with Congress on the development and the implementation of our highway infrastructure legislation. It's been now over a month since we reported her from this committee, and with so many, as, with so many of President Trump's nominees, the process is taking too long. We need to confirm Ms. Nason and get her confirmed and in office. Last month, Ranking Member Carper and I began asking Senate offices for their priorities for Highway Infrastructure Bill. And as this bipartisan process continue, we must find ways to increase the effectiveness of federal investment so communities can feel the economic benefits faster. Maintaining the Federal Highway Program's current approach of distributing funds to the states by formula is key. Using the formula-based approach expedites the delivery of infrastructure spending. It's an approach that works and should be continued. Another way to make the federal highway dollars more effective is to speed up project delivery, which I believe can be done without sacrificing environmental safeguards. As states and towns wait to get permits and approvals from Washington, valuable time is wasted and the costs for projects go up. Shouldn't take years to permit projects that take only months to complete. In order to truly benefit the economy, highway infrastructure legislation must address the needs of rural America as well as urban America. Rural roads are vital to bringing raw materials and products from the heartland to the coasts. We all buy and use goods that are transported on our nation's highways through rural states and communities. Federal highways like I-80 run coast to coast, bringing these goods and services across America. This includes the stretch of I-80 that runs through my home state of Wyoming. We must maintain and improve the highways that crisscross our rural states to keep vital arteries of national commerce open. Our transportation infrastructure provides a firm foundation for our economy. As we will hear today, better highways, roads, and bridges across America strengthens that foundation. I look forward to working together in a bipartisan way to pass a highway infrastructure bill that will deliver real economic benefits for the American people. And I'd now like to recognize Ranking Member Carper for his remarks. Thank you.